Namaste. Today we have practicing with us Yvette, and Yvette will be doing Shirshasana, headstand. So I'm going to have Yvette come onto her hands and knees. Now if you're looking at this video saying, there's no way I'm going to do a hand headstand, then it's okay. Go ahead and grab a wall, and you can do everything that we're doing right here against the wall. So from hands and knees, go ahead and drop your forearms down to the mat, making sure that your elbows stay aligned underneath your shoulders. Interlace your fingers. The thumbs point up and the palms are spread wide. Drop the crown of your head to the mat right in front of the hands, and the hands are gonna cradle the back of the head. Good. So I'm gonna have you come back just a little bit so you don't want the shoulders to go too far. Begin to press down through your forearms to lighten the load on your head. Curl your toes under and lift your knees away from the mat. Keep pressing down through those forearms. Good. From here, begin to walk forward and lift the hips up. So it's like a pike position. And you want to stay when the hips are aligned right over the shoulders. As you inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale to slowly hop on that bottom foot. See, this is where you build the confidence and the strength to do the pose. So try to catch some air. And then when you got your air, slowly lift that bottom leg to join the top leg. Squeeze the thighs inward. Tuck the tailbone. Breathe. Take a few deep breaths here. I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> so maybe just one more deep breath. And to come out of the pose, slowly lower one leg down, followed by the other. Drop your knees onto the mat. Go. And you can come back onto your hands and knees. And just circle the head a few times in each direction. And you can repeat this as often as you like. Always great to turn yourself upside down, to shift your paradigm, get some fresh blood and fresh ideas. That is your Shasana headstand. Thank you so much for watching. See you the next time. Peace.